Um, before we start today's video, I do want to say the design is not originally mine. I did see it from another content creator um, and then modified their base design a little bit um, to make a couple things smoother. Um, so if you would like to see the original video, I will be posting the link in my description. Uh, so what's up guys I'm Q-Man and today I have an MC Eternal build for you it's an automated M mystical agriculture build for any of the seeds in mystical agriculture it's got quite a few components to it but it's relatively easy to make so let's get into it I'm gonna start off these are um, all the materials that you're gonna need I've put all the crafting recipes inside of here below each item so that way you can just reference to this part to see each thing you need to build so first we have the aqueous accumulator um this one you need a redstone servo an iron gear glass device frame and bucket um if you need to know how to make any like the servo or the device frame you can always go into your jei and select the item and then click on it and it'll show you how to craft it um you can also even go like one step further you can keep going and get down to like the root of something that you need um, but anyways, uh, after that you're going to need a water tank, uh, and you'll just need one of these. Uh, you'll need two of these tier 3 crafters, you'll need two of these plant gatherers, you'll need two sprinklers, and you'll need eight irrigation channels in total. You're going to need to have two, two of these range add-ons, um, two trash cans, this uh, you need two of as well. You're going to need four item conduit. You're going to need a lot of these. I don't even remember what the number is, but you need one for each plot in a 7x7 seven seven area. Uh, and then you're going to need two pressurized fluid conduit. Um, these are some other stuff you're going to need. Uh, any chest will work. It doesn't have to be this large storage crate. Um, I prefer it because it's got the three rows of inventory but you can use a regular chest or a double chest, whatever you want. Uh, you're you're going to need two water buckets for the aqueous accumulator um, and, of course, your seeds. So you can do and go ahead and grab all of this stuff right now. Um, you can do any type of seed. So we'll go in here and go seeds. You can get, uh, let's see, they got Inferium, different tiers. You can get Nether Star seeds. You can get Dragon Egg seeds. Um, some of these seeds might not be in survival. I don't think nether star or dragon egg seeds are. Um, stone seeds I think are dirt. I don't know about nature seeds. I uh, don't know about any of these ones. Coal seeds definitely are the iron seeds. All of these like material ones that make like emeralds, diamonds, all of those are in the regular game. Gold is behind a, a coin wall. You have to unlock that. But yeah, so there's there's a ton of seeds. You can automate a lot of stuff with this farm. So with that, I'm going to grab all the materials that we need to get this built. And I will see you guys once we have the beginning like shape ready. Okay, so I kind of used the hoe to make like the outline for what I need and stuff. So, oh, and it's changing already. Okay, hold on. Let's fix this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven two, three, on the fourth block, you'll hit down, down, you'll make it like this shape, um, and then once you've done that, you grab your collector and your water bucket, and then you do this, so you can hear like the accumulator, it's collecting water, it's got a bunch in it, it has to be a running source of water, which is why we made this shape, so these, this water flows down in the middle block underneath it. Um, if it's running water, it does not work. Once you have this placed, you'll go ahead and place two, the two fluid duct. Um, and make sure you're holding shift when you place the first one, otherwise you'll just go into this menu. And then once you have this, just jump up and place that. And then you'll place four irrigation channels off the edge and a sprinkler. And it'll immediately start spraying like this. Once it starts spraying, you can go ahead and go through the area and till out the land that you need. And in this case, we're going to be using a 7x7 area. Okay. 
and so now I'm gonna go complete them. Okay, so once you have everything placed, uh, everything tilled out, and all of the uh, sprinklers working, four irrigation on each side of the sprinkler on the bottom of it, um, you're gonna place four worms. Uh, I like to place them somewhere within the outer edges of this inside square, these inside nine. You just need four of them. They'll make sure that if the land, like, if it breaks, so like this, when I come back to it, the worm should till it. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing over here. Bam. I will wait for them to do it. I'm not doing it myself. So we'll start on this side. So once you have the worms down, then you place your crop sticks and you wanna cover every space. everything all covered up he still hasn't tilled it why why aren't you doing what I ask he'll get to it eventually <laughs> all right and then once you have all the crop sticks so the reason why you use crop sticks is because these seeds can get expensive to make so rather than having to fill up the whole thing you can place one seed you can place four as these mature they'll spread to all the other plants like this so I'm just gonna do like a weird little pattern here. We'll leave that alone. He's not tilling that dirt, so I'll fill it. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this farm plot ready and I'll see you guys when these have grown up so I can show you what, uh, but so next, after you have both these shapes built, like I said, you can do it one-sided if you want, up to you. Uh, it is cheaper to do it that way to start it, but you're gonna take a plant gatherer you're gonna place it in the center and then you're gonna make one of these range add-ons. You're gonna put it in there. Once it's in there, you can hit show working area. Shows you exactly like the surface area that it covers. If I take the plus three out, it only covers right here. Put the plus three in, boom. All right, so after you have that down, you're going to place this and then this. So this is the pressurized fluid conduit into this. Um, and then you got to go into this menu. On the plant gatherer side, you want it to be extract, always active. On the trash can side, you want it to be insert, always active. When you come to the other side, you place your item conduit. Um, and normally you would do like a storage chest system. You can do that if you want. Um, but this stuff will collect kind of quickly. So what I like to do is I'll put this in here and uh, this will craft the Inferium into blocks. Um, once we get everything set up, I will circle back to this and show you how to set it up. So after everything is done in there, it'll be processed out to the, tra to the storage. So come over here, extract, always active, insert, always active. And then on this side, extract, always active, and then on this side, insert, always active. So you do this on both sides. I'm gonna turn this one on just so I can show you. So for the plant gatherer and for the crafter, you need a power source. Um, I'm using a flux network, so all my generators are right here. They feed power into the network and I can do everything remotely. You can also just put a generator directly next to each of these blocks if you want. It's perfectly fine. Um, but this is just a lot simpler. So power this up, power this up. Bam. Bam. And as you can see, it's going to start. Oh, there's no range add-on in this one. I was like, why isn't anything happening? So, grab this, put it in. And as you can see, it starts pulling the line row by row by row. And these will start growing. Um, okay, so we have some Inferium sitting inside of our, uh, inside of our crafter. 
So there's a couple things you can do with this. Um, let's say you just want to have the bulk Inferium. You don't want to turn it into anything right away. You can go ahead and hit apply. Um, put, put it in the thing here, click apply, and it'll turn everything into blocks right instantly. Um, the other thing you can do, if you would say you want to get to Superium, um, I'm pretty sure Superium requires... Uh, hold on, I have, to, I have to remember how to do this for a second. It's been a second, so... Superium... Oh, that's right. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab one of these real quick just for the sake of the demonstration. Okay, so let's assume you have this crystal um, and you want to then turn this into the next step of stuff. Um, the Master Infusion Crystal will always stay in here. You can make the Prudentium Essence. It'll automatically produce it, send it into this chest, um, or you can, you know, put a I'd have to grab some of this, but you can also go one step further. And do the next series. And then once you have that, you can do the next series and then the next series until it's at Superium or Supremium. Automate that whole crafting process for you. It's very handy. Um, if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on how to use the crafter itself, um, I will post one of those. It's not a problem. But yeah, so that's the design. It's how it works. This is where everything goes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.